Hey everyone, let's see together how to set up Tanstack router on a React project. This is the first video of a series where we're gonna explore the core feature of this amazing new routing library that released version 1.2 just a couple of months ago. And enough talking, let's get started. The first thing we need is to create a new React app. I'm gonna use Vite, this is the name of our application and the template is React with TypeScript. Why TypeScript? Well, one of the core features of Tanstack Router is that it is 100% type safe, so it goes really well with TypeScript. Let's open the project in VS Code and run npm install. We can already clean out the basic app because there's much more things than what we need. So removing the CSS basically, and also from up here, we don't need anything for this example. So I'm just gonna get rid of everything and say app uh, works. I can also remove the imports and let's wait for a moment while npm installs our dependencies. If we now run the app, we can already see in the browser that it is up and running and app works. And now in a new terminal, we can already install the library. In this case, first of all, we need to install Tanstack React Router, that is basically the library which has all the features we need. And to make the magic happen, we also want to install this Vite plugin that will help us regenerating the roots every time our app compiles. We'll see that in a moment. We can now jump on Vite config and set out the plugin we just installed that is called Tanstack Router Vite and we can import it. Now, if we go back to the running app, we see that there's an error and this is our plugin telling us that we need to create the root folder here. This will be the folder containing all the roots of our application, which will be based from the file names. We can begin by creating our root, so two underscores and root.ts6. And we know that this file will basically be the root of our entire application. Let's leave it empty for a moment and also create a couple other roots that are index.tsx and another one which might be profile.tsx. Now, if you want to see some magic, if I stop the execution and I run it again, well, what happened? Well, our plugin already bootstrapped our first two roots by using create root slash profile taken from the file name. And also if we go on index, yeah, both roots are set up. But our application is not working yet because we need to obviously add something on the root, which is quite similar. We can export from here a const called root which will not a file root, but a root, root. Or is it route? I don't know. Anyway, if we create this one here, we can pass a component that for now will only be our outlet. And similarly to many other routing libraries, outlet is basically the object that gets replaced with the content of your root. Now, the only last thing we need to do in order to have our router working fine is to basically replace here app works with our router provider. And we'll do that in a moment. First step is creating a router, which takes root tree as an input. And where does this root tree come from? If you notice, there's a file here that got auto-generated by the library that is exactly our root definition. And you can already see some spoiler. There's an interface with our two only allowed roots. And we'll see why this is a lot powerful. But first, we need to continue setting up our router here. So we first need to expand our interface, making autocomplete work on our app. And I also need to import root tree, our generated file. And the very last thing you have to do is to replace the content here with the router provider, also passing in the router. Now, if I did everything correctly, uh, here it should already work. Um, okay, this seems to be easy. From root, it's not root, but <laughs> route. Okay, let's see if it works now. Let me refresh. And yes, this is hello, and this is our first root. This file here. And profile shows hello profile. And I suppose if I type profile here, hello profile. So our routing is working fine, but now you might need some kind of navigation. So if we go back here, we can probably expand this component and add a little bit more code. For example, 
before our router, we can say my app, why not? And we can add an, an order list of links, which will not be the basic A tag, but instead Tanstack router uses its own link component, which in this case, that's where we get the type safety. Here, if I try to autocomplete, you can see that I only can select profile or the root folder. And same goes here. If I change it again, I type here profile. And basically with this really simple HTML, we already have a router working fine. The first question you might have is, how do I know in which route I am? It's not actually visible here. And the answer is quite simple. Here you can use active props and define here what props to pass to the link element if the root is the one active. For example, the pilot was already suggesting me that I can style it and say, I want it bold. You have to do the same for both objects. So let's refactor it real quick. So those are our active props and I can pass them here. And obviously also there. Now you can see that the selected root is different because it's bold. But there's more. What if you don't only want to pass a specific prop to the component, but you specifically want to render something conditionally? Well, here, instead of passing only the text, you can pass to the link component a function which returns something. And the advantage is that your function has a parameter called is active. So here you can do something really simple. For example, let's say I want profile and only if it's active, I can add another text. For example, this tilde here. And now if I go back on the page, when I select profile, it not only changed on style, but also add some more text or basically whatever you want to add here since you have full control of the is active parameter. And that was it. We now have a router here, which changes the root and everything is working fine. In the next chapter, we'll see how to set up path parameter, as always type safe. You better subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna release quite a lot of videos about this new amazing library because there's so much to share. With that said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.